Well, this week has been uh, pretty awesome, pretty challenging, but challenge is good. It is not something to fear. And I figured I had a sketch planned for today, uh, but I'm going to move it to Monday. I uh, had a long week, and so I didn't really have the energy to uh, be extra cringy. So I'm going to do the extra cringe tomorrow and then push that out. Monday. But today I went down to the P.O. box and I've actually had a couple of items sitting here and uh, including packages from two other huge MTG content creators. Um, but I'm going to start with uh, a mystery package. I have no idea who this is, but there's some sort of MTG company. So let me see. In Kentucky, apparently, which maybe that's just where they're located. Probably should have checked this out before. What is in here? Okay. Interesting. Um, I suppose I should say who it is. Um, Oh, sorry. They sent six random Aether Revolt packs, and they came packaged like this. Um, I don't know if this was from a fan who sent this from Amazon um, or what, but it says it's from MTG Biz. So if MTG Biz sent it, thank you. If a fan sent it, and that's just who it shipped from, because this looks like it's from Amazon to me. Maybe not, though. Um... Well, it's six packs of Aether Revolt. I did. I had no idea what was in there. I actually had a LGS contact me from Atlanta, and I didn't look at the label until just now, and I thought maybe um, that was from them, but I guess not. Let's open these up. So, thank you, anonymous person or MTG Biz. I don't know who you are. If you're gonna send something, you should let me know. And if you let me know and I forgot, then I really look like a jerk. Sly Requisitioner, Ridge Scale Tusker, and an Aetherwind Basker. Very first pack, we hit a Mythic. That's pretty spicy, I would say. I have to be careful about making a mess down here. I finally cleaned up the work area. Weld Fast Engineer. Gremlin Infestation, Illusionist Stratagem, and Battle at the Bridge. Not a bad card. Do 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 do. Let's see here. Ravenous Intruder, Sly Requisitioner, Pacification Array, and Heroic Intervention. Am I right? Today's going to be kind of a long one because one of these is a big package or a big item. I figured I would share it. Renegade Rallier, <clears throat> Scrapper Champion, Perilous Predicament. There's a foil in this pack. Oath of a Johnny and Gonti's Machinations. You know, it's interesting. Uh, I would have thought we'd be hearing a little bit about Modern Masters 17. Haven't heard really anything about it. And we're less than a month from it dropping, apparently. It's kind of crazy. Deadeye Harpooner. Fatal Push. That's worth putting aside. And a Dark Intimations. All right, last pack. Well, thank you, uh, whoever sent this in. Um, or MTG Biz. I don't know. If you want me to promote something, you got to put a letter in there or something. Otherwise, I don't know. But I'm not complaining. Well, I guess I am complaining, but I'm advising. Gonti's Machination, Consulate Dreadnought, Aerial Modification, Inspiring Statuary. Well, <clears throat> pretty run-of-the-mill run packs, but not bad. And you can't beat the price, so thank you for sending that in. 
Um, now I have a small item. I actually already opened it up because I couldn't pass up the uh, Twitter troll opportunity because you guys know how I love to stir the poop on Twitter. Uh, I got a letter from the professor. <laughs> uh, but what's inside? Look at that. A professor signed uh, inspiration. I got this for backing his Patreon when he needed a dollar. And I thought for sure he wasn't going to send it. But I also did it to help the guy out in a time of need. And he did send it. So fair play, Brian. Now, this last box. Some of you already know if you follow me on Twitter at MTG Headquarters or on Facebook. Because I think I posted it there. But I got a package from... Alpha Investments. Inside that package was two booster boxes. Now, I'm not going to open them both. I'm only going to open one right now. On the first one, I got two autographs from two YouTubers. Here we go. Here's one from Rudy. Jeremy, to the man who rose up and helped someone he never met. From Rudy, Alpha Investments. Appreciate you, bud. That's uh, back when I was helping him out with his hack stuff um, behind the scenes. And he also sent a booster box of Constantark here. Let's get into that. <laughs> and in honor of Rudolph, I am not wearing any pants. This is true. I have no pants on. And... I meant to do that in honor of Rudy. Appreciate you, bud. Appreciate your content. It's always entertaining to me. Appreciate. You know, sometimes you help. I mean, I helped him out because I liked the guy. I did everything I could to help him during that time. But it also kind of means something when you do go out of your way and help somebody and they actually acknowledge that. Like, you don't have to send someone stuff, but, like, you you know what I mean. Like, you've all done somebody a favor, and then they didn't say thank you. And you're kind of like, ah, I wanted to do the favor. Like, I, I agree to do the favor without expectation of, of thanks. But you're kind of like, ah, uh, you know, if they don't say thank you, then the second time around, you're maybe less apt to help them. Now, he said thank you in an incredible way, which is in two booster boxes that I could share with all of you. So I'm going to keep that other one that's signed. It kind of a little sentimental. I get the feels there. So, But let's see what we can find in these cons packs. Let's see if maybe we could find a foil fetch land. We have Burnaway, Ruthless Ripper, Mardu Rough Rider, and Avalanche Tusker. Definitely... Um, one of my all-time favorite draft formats. This and RTR, to me, were just great. Um, you know, it had its problems, of course, um, with Abzan being kind of OP. But otherwise, I loved it. I loved Morph as a mechanic, Blinding Spray, Teamer Charm, Despise, and Thousand Winds. That card is great. Unmorph it, bounce everything back. Very, very powerful now it is seven mana to unmorph it, but you know, you could play a five six for six, five six five for six too, and be happy. Dragon Grip, Mystic Monastery, Suspension Field, and Surak the Dragon Claw, our first mythic. Now, of course, in case you don't remember, Cons was opened like mad because they reprinted fetch lines in it. I suspect they will be reprinting the next set of fetch lines very soon. Sales are down. Fetch line sell boxes. Chief of the scale. Become immense. Watcher of the roost. And Abzan ascendancy. A morph token. Nothing wrong with putting stuff in boxes to sell your product. Um, I prefer they do it via reprint than crazy lottery cards, but uh, that's neither here nor there. 
Dazzling Ramparts, Roar of the Challenge, Death Frenzy, and Utter End. By the way, I stand with PewDiePie. Not that my small voice matters, but um, PewDiePie, and yet another victim of the mainstream media's jealousy of his success. It's clearly about that. They know that his that new media is uh, far surpassing uh, legacy media. Kintry Invocation, Take Up Arms, Teamer Charge, and Retribution of the Ancients. And I'm convinced that's why they, well, they target them because of that. They also target them for the clicks. You write an article about PewDiePie, you make money. You say PewDiePie is a Nazi, you make a lot of money. Even if you don't have any proof whatsoever at all and you just slander the man. Brave the Sands, Seek the Horizon, Tomb of the Spirit Dragon, and Ivory Tusk Fortress. Do, 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 do. Scion of Glaciers, Briber's Purse, Sultai Charm, Hardened Scales. Remember those Hardened Scales decks? Foil Island. I thought for a second it was a Foil Fetch Land. That would have woke me up real fast. I'm not really like sleepy tired. I'm just kind of like mentally drained from a long week. But tomorrow I always schedule myself half days on Fridays. And I'll get nice and refreshed. Abzan Charm, Ice Feather Aven, Heart Piercer Bow, and Dragon Throne of Tarkir. Interesting, we've gone through many packs already. No fetch lands. I've seen the number of fetch lands and boxes uh, vary wildly, so you just never know. Mardu Heart Piercer, Swarm of Bloodflies, Ride Down, and Jeering Instigator. How is your week going? What are you uh, What are you playing tonight at FNM? What deck are you playing this weekend? I've been trying to pay attention more to that. Goblin Slide, Dragon's Eye Savants, Heir of the Wilds, and Mantis Rider. Gosh, Just Guy, Just Guy in in standard at this time was pretty nuts. I feel like even though Cedrino was in this is was in standard, I did kind of like it better than current standard. But I don't know. I can't really quantify that. Just a, you know, just a, an opinion, not a fact. I've been uh, stubborn denial, sand steep citadel, quiet contemplation, and a rakshasa vizier. I've been uh, trying to track the standard meta a little more. I mean, it takes like maybe twenty minutes of a, my week tops just to at least keep up on what's going on out there. What decks are you know, what they're doing in the meta. I think it's going to make me more educated when I open newer product. Kiru Bloodsucker, Abzan Falconer. This is my favorite card to draft. Siltai Soothsayer, and Pearl Lake Ancient Finisher in uh, the control deck during that time, if I remember correctly. It was, was it in blue-black? Was that the finisher in blue-black? Blue-black? Chief of the Scale. It's too bad the humans never really took off. Mardu Charm. Tuscard Capitan and Crater's Claws. Halfway through the box, no fetch lines at all. Hashtag Rudy repacked this box and took all the fetch lines. Hashtag Creepy Rudy. <laughs> Chief of the Edge. Armament Corpse. That was a great card, too. Murderous Cut. Also a great card. We've got a foil in this pack. Oh boy. Uh, it is a foil land. Oh, Ghostfire Blade was legit, too. Those foil two-color lands, they get me every time. But it's also kind of fun to, like, add a little suspense to the opening, too, right? Hordling Outburst, one of the last good FNM promos, right? Pine Walker, loved that card, too. Higher Spire, Mantis, and a Bloodstained Mire. There we go. And a foil, Watcher of the Roost. Maybe we're into Le Sauce. I'm, hope, I'm hoping we're into Le Sauce. That would be cool. Blinding Spray. 
Warname Aspirant, Frontier Bivouac, and a Windswept Heath. There we go. Stacking up. Back-to-back Fetchies. Remember how everyone always hates how I call them Fetchies? Oh, Fetchies. Yeah. Can we go three fetch lands in a row? Let's do this. Venerable Lamasu. Bellowing Saddle Brute. Secret Plans and... It did happen! It happened! <laughs> that is three. another Windswept Heath. Okay, fine. You know. Ooh, just another fetch land. That is three fetch lands in a row. I I have to place a lot of... Uh, now, I should have been more careful about how I picked this pack because we're going for four. War of the Challenge. Watcher of the Roost. Warden of the Eye. All right. Oh, a Siege Rhino. Well, one time, that was an insane pull. At one time, it would have been fetch, 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 $8 rare or something, right? It may hold some value still. I'm not sure. Seems unlikely. At one time, it was. Even though it was in like most of the decks, so it was still pretty spendy. Mardu Blazebringer, Cranial Archive, Witness of the Ages, and a Mind Swipe. There's a, there's a, you know, hashtag if you've been with me since cons. It's kind of fun to like bring back these memes later because. You know, the originals, people that were around when I was doing those videos will always remember that. Timely Horde Mate, Swarm of Bloodflies, Dead Drop, and a Grim House Brex. That was a good card, too. Snake Token. That's relevant these days. Snack dot Deck. I really needed to get a garbage can for next to me. Maybe that's the next... Thing someone should send to the P.O. Box is a magic-themed garbage can. <laughs> River Wheel Aerialist. Incremental Growth. Monastery Swift Spear. That's not a bad uncommon. And Icy Blast. It's going to be in the 50s this weekend in Wisconsin in February. It's crazy. Going to get the cars washed. Pick up some dog poop. Dragon Grip. My own dog's poop. Not just, you know, random people's dog poop. Dragon Grip, Horde Ambusher, Windstorm, and a Fetch Line. Ah, Keru Spell Snatcher. We still have not seen our Foil Rare. So, maybe our Foil Rare is a Foil Fetch Land. There are five to choose from, I believe. So, I mean, potentially, it is. There's a good chance of it. What am I doing here? My toenail just rubbed across my footrest, and it sounded like a fart, and I was thinking... I wonder if the mic picked that up, and everyone's going to say I just farted. And then I was like, yeah, I probably picked it up. And then I got distracted. Master of the Way. A little miscut. Ruthless Ripper, Water World, and an Anafenza, a tiny leader. And it's a very powerful card. I mean, a four mana, a three mana, four, four. Was a sideboard card, was a main deck card, was a tiny leader. Could still be a commander, I'm sure. Mystic Monastery. Take up arms. Frontier bivouac. I think this is going to be our foil rare. And it's going to be a gold card. Oh, Abzan guy. That looks pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. I can't think of any gold cards I would want in foil from this set. So that would have been kind of a bummer. What we want to see is another foil land. Miss Fire Weaver. Jeskai Charm, Sultai Charm, Avalanche Tusker Charm. I think we've gone full circle. Mardu Heart Piercer, Mardu Charm, Raider Spoils, Dune Blast. <sighs> One more fetchy, maybe? One more would be cool. I mean, there are other cool cards. It'd be cool to open a Sarkon. Dazzling Ramparts. Sultai Flare. Ride down. Rattleclaw Mystic. And I put a pile of commons in, an unco in the uncommon pile. It's been a long week. Chief of the Scale. Seeker of the Way. Sultai Soothsayer. 
And a Wingmate Rock. Yes, I forgot about this card. That card was awesome. Also in the Abzan deck. That card was so cool. Getting it limited was like <laughs> a 5-mana 3-4 flyer was enough, and then two of them. And the life gain was just too too much. Scion of Glaciers, Gurmag, Swiftwing, Death Frenzy, and a Dragon Throne of Tarkir. I feel like we started over. Like, with the Avalanche Tusker. Something weird is going on with the video there. Hopefully it's still okay. Teamer Charm, Jeskai Elder, Murderous Cut, and a Trail of Mystery. Oh, of course our foil is a crap essence. Of course it is. <laughs> sometimes you're lucky. Sometimes you open non-stop inventions in fat packs, and sometimes your foil rare is crap essence. Abzan, Battle Priest, Sand Step Citadel, Heart Piercer, Bow, and Altar of the Brood. All right, we have three, four packs left. The hope is we find one more fetch land. But this is still fun to go back through these cards. I'm remembering fondly limited play during cons, triple cons. Winter Flame, Cranial Archive, Tuscard Cap, that was first pickable too. And then Utter End. Yeah, it feels like we're cycling around again. Hopefully these last three packs are the cycle of three fetch lines in a row. <laughs> Pine Walker, I thought this card was very strong too for limited. Ankle Shanker, love that card. Love playing that in drafting Mardu. It's kind of a bummer rare to open if you're not in Mardu because you really can't use it. But playing that out on curve was brutal. Goblin Slide, Armament Court, War Name Aspirant. And a Herald of Anafenza. This sub standard plays well. Gosh, this set was so strong. All right, last pack. I already have two more packages in the P.O. box that I haven't opened yet. So we'll put those on the next episode of Mailbag, which will be a couple weeks. The P.O. box address will be in the description below should you want to send something, but don't feel like you have to. Riverwheel Aerialist, Abzan Falconer, Mardu Rough Rider, and a Kiru Lich Lick. Leich, 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 Lord. And a scion of glaciers. Hey, appreciate you, Rudy. Appreciate you uh, sending this stuff up to the channel. I probably will open that box of origins maybe next time on Mailbag. And uh, appreciate whoever sent the, those random packs of Aether Revolt. And I appreciate all of you. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. Enjoy yourselves. Have fun. Play magic. And we'll talk to you again real soon.